All right, so I'm making these um, storm windows. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like this screen frame here. Um, this is a really simple screen frame. You can see it's got the tenon going through it. It's a mortise and tenon joinery screen frame. Okay. Uh, st storms are a little bit different. I mean, they have a a little rabbited shelf here that the glass will sit in. I mean, I'm not going to show you how to make that, but what I'm going to show you is, okay, <laughs> the process of getting this bar centered, all right? This bar centered between there and there so that it's centered, okay? Um, I got to lay it out so that it's in the right spot, okay? I got a couple of pieces on the bench right here. Okay. okay, they've already been properly uh, set to the right thickness, to the right width, and I'm cutting them to length right now. My overall measurement is 75 and 3 quarters. Yes, okay, so I'm going to mark my mortise down here, come up three eighths and three eighths right there. Oh, this is my bottom one, come up two and a half for my bottom mortise, okay, little X for the camera there. I'm going to come down here, my number was what, 75 and three quarters, come up my three eighths. Still good in the end. You gotta lay them out at the same time. All right. Okay. So now what I need to know is now that well now that I've got my mortise marked on the end, both ends, I gotta have some mortise mortise marked in the middle, okay, and how do I find that? Well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut these off. Um, I cut them at the same time, that way they're both exactly the same length. Ah. Okay, so you're following me? Make sure you're following me because I'm going fast, all right? Um, what I need to know is, look, down here, my mortise goes where my X is, okay? From here, you know, from, from there to there. This is two and a half inches, okay? okay. 2.5 for those who like decimals. We're gonna use that in a second, okay? Is that right? Yes, 2.5. This one up here, okay? That's 1.5 or one and a half for those who like fractions. All right, so what I need to do is center my mortise in here. Now my mortise is gonna be one inch, okay? So here's what I do. See if you get the calculator in here, okay? Boom, with my number, my overall length, is my 70 is 75 and three quarters 75.75 okay i'm gonna subtract out my other mortises on my one end it's 1.5 there's my number my other end is 2.5 equals that all right now i'm gonna subtract my one from the, that's one is the width of the mortise i want in the middle okay i get 70 and 70 and three quarters, 70.75. All right, divide that by two, it's 35 and three eighths, all right? So divide by two equals 35.375, okay? Now what that tells me is that it's, I'm gonna write this down right here, 35 and three eighths, that's my distance between 
my bottom mortise and my top mortise. Well, when it, at, that's that's the distance between the edge of this mortise and that mortise and the edge of this mortise and the edge of that mortise, okay? But that doesn't tell me, you know, how far it is to the end because my end is here and my end is there, right? So I want to pull the number from here to there. So what am I going to do? I'm going to add back in the length that I subtracted out. So plus 1.5 equals 36.875. That's 36 and 7 eighths. So I'm going to pull... 36 and 7 eighths on this side, and I'm going to mark it there. X goes there. And then I'm going to subtract out my one and a half again. Okay. Minus 1.5 equals that. Now I'm going to add in the other side. That's 2.5. Plus 2.5 equals 37.875, which is 37 7 eighths. I'm going to write that down. 37 and 7 eighths. This one was 36 and 7 eighths. Okay. Pull it from here. If I did my math right, I should have an inch. It's 37 and 7 eighths. Okay. There it is. That looks like an inch, right? Boom. One inch right in the middle. Okay, see that? Okay, and let's see. I'm gonna measure from up here. What did I get? Up oh, 35 and 3 eighths and 35 and 3 eighths. That mortise is centered, not necessarily in the frame, but in the glass opening. Ah, that's important. All right, that's how you do it with a calculator, which is Italian or Latin probably for calculator, calculator. So anyway, hope you like that. If it's not helpful then I'm sorry, I don't know what else to do.